And now, it's time to go in the garage with Bodie Stroud. Hey, everybody. How are we doing today? Good, how are you? Oh, that's what Mitchell Just does like all that. the time. That's what he does to me all the time. Do you, Mitchell? Yeah. As often as I can. Uh-huh. I'll can ask you do right him. now? No. I know him so purpose. well. When I walk up to him and he goes like this, <clears throat> it means he's about to tell me something. Oh. And I know usually by the tone of it if it's good or bad. Every time. Okay. If it's, 100%. If it's good, it's like that. But if it's bad, how is it? <laughs> yeah, there's a little after the end of it there. So that's if it's bad. <laughs> I'm right, aren't I? You're I'm thinking about it. Yeah. I think he's blushing. Ah, that's great. <laughs> oh, the light. oh, so how are we all doing today? Doing good. Good. Want to thank everybody for joining us. Uh, as always, listen to us every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific time on crntalk.com or you can watch us li- and or and watch us live from BS Industries on Tiki Live, crntalk.com forward slash video chat. And every week we are brought to you by steelrubber.com and magnaflow.com. Yeah. Well, it's, it's still rubber. I just added the dot .com because it's easier because now I don't have to say it again. Yeah, check But I out. guess I could have because I'm still talking. Yeah, check them out. <laughs> right? So what do we got going today? We got uh, our buddy Wade. Kawasaki is going to be joining us from Coker Tire. We're going to get to hear everything cool that's going on with him. And I know he's he's like this world traveler. <gasps> really? Yeah. He's everywhere. It was really? funny because I had a friend come from uh, or text me in New Zealand. He was in New Zealand. He goes, hey, I just talked to Wade. And he said he was just at your place. So I thought that was pretty funny. Small world. Right? It really is. I don't think he's any relation to Kawasaki family. Maybe he is. I, that would be interesting. I he, hey, good for him, <laughs> yeah. right? Uh, so we'll get Mitchell and I just went and took a tour of the uh, their facility over here in the city of Industry. Uh, pretty cool watching how they make the wheels, and it's pretty cool that it's all made here. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They showed us everything. You know, they got the uh, presses, how they stamp them out. They weld the centers. They got you know it's. It's kind of robotic. You got a guy feeding it in there. It's uh, it's pretty cool. I love that stuff. Nice. You know, they sent us over a picture, and there's just like tires everywhere. Yeah, there was cool. lots of tires yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Hence Coker Tire. It's like Tire World. <laughs> it's like Tire World. Yeah. So if you're trying to match something, or you know, you want to get vintage something vintage for your old car that uh, looks just like it did back in the day, those are the guys to go to. Nice. Right, Mitchell? Yeah. I mean, just their tire section was probably bigger than our shop. Yeah. So, uh, and check, so check them out. And, and I know that they've, they've uh, actually been expanding. Uh, they've made a few acquisitions lately, recently. So we get to find out what's going on with that, who they've acquired, and, um, Check them out at uh, Coker Tire. That's www.coker, C-O-K-E-R, tire.com. Check them out at facebook.com forward slash Coker Tire Company. C-O, that is. Company. Short for company. Uh, (laughs) Twitter.com forward slash Coker Tire Company. Instagram.com forward slash Coker Tire Company. Check them out. And uh, Speaking of Instagram, we'll talk about yours when we get back from the break. That doesn't sound good. It is. <laughs> it I stopped you. I know where really? you're at. Really? That's very weird. Okay. We'll be right back after these words. Welcome back to In the Garage. It's daydreaming there for a minute. Were you? Yeah. What Eric you even said, about? here we go. And I was just like. I don't want to wake up. I don't want to wake up. That should be the name of a song, Eric. I don't want to wake up. That'd be a good punk song right there. Don't want to close my eyes. Oh, please. Stop. <laughs> Jesus. We're taking it way too far. Woo. <laughs> Keep going, I guess. Don't want to fall Okay, that's enough. <laughs> so uh, what were you talking about on my Instagram? Yeah, you posted a video at the tractor pole at Cal Poly. 
Oh well, yeah, weekend. I was at Cal Poly this last weekend, and yeah, the track they were having the tractor pulls. They do like a fair, open house type deal. My nephew goes to Cal Poly. Oh nice. Yeah, he's on the uh, the football team. Cool. So, yeah. So you were able to check that out. Yes. Yes. I checked it out too, and I like that yellow truck. Yeah. That one was cool. That out one of, was out of all, really cool. All of them, I was like, wow. He won, I think. Or no, 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 no. That was the uh, that was the wheelies truck. The oh. Yellow Willie struck. I don't know if he he. I think he got second in that class. You know, mm-hmm. there's different types of classes. That's the one that caught me. I was like, wow, that's so cool. Yeah, no, that it was it was pretty cool. The one guy had like five, I don't know, six hundred something cubic inch blown big blocks and. Oh wow. And he lost one of the motors, and there was just parts going everywhere. <gasps> it was really? great fire. There's a fire. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it was great. When that happens, it's like, wow, this is cool. He probably didn't think yeah. so. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, is he, was he okay? It amazes me the amount of money that they put into one of those things. I mean, man, I was just adding up the cost of engines alone on that thing. You know what I mean? Uh, and it's pulling some serious weight. I don't, engines, I don't know the like exact... there's more than one? Oh, yeah. How many? I just said five. Five? Where were you? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Did I not say that? Five engines? Five engines, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so it was pretty cool. And then there was like this uh, helicopter. They had these two helicopter motors. Um He did okay. He probably would have done better, but I think his timing was off a little bit. Mm. And he, he let up because his R's were so high, and he kind of let up, and the front end bounced, and then he lost momentum. Aww. So it's kind of all about momentum. So that so then the weight stopped, and he tried lunging again, and it was just that thing was dead in the water. Those things are loud. Very loud. And I had my seven year old with me, and she didn't seem to even phase her. I was <laughs> like, wow. I mean, it was rattling my teeth, you know. Yeah. But I like that. Even just listening to the video, I was like, I can't hear anything but that. Oh, it's just screaming. How it's do you... so cool. It's just, I, I cool. just sit there and still though, and I go, all the money that goes into that for just that short pass, you know yeah. what I'm saying, is insane. Wow. I mean, that'd be cool. I'd like to build one and drive it. Everybody has their hobbies. I guess, yeah. There was this one diesel. He's the one that, he, he won. I, I don't know what diesel was. You, it's hard to hear over the, the speaker, but uh, this thing was insane. It was just billowing out black smoke, and he just kept going and going and he, oh, wow. I think he won, and it was, uh, it was, it was the crowd favorite. I know that just because of the smoke that was billowing out of that thing. You know what I mean? Um. So yeah, that was pretty cool. That I highly cool. recommend it if anybody ever gets a chance. I love San Luis Obispo. I I I hated coming back to be honest with you. Why? Because it's just so relaxing and beautiful. The beach. <laughs> <laughs> that had nothing to do with what I was talking about. Are you going to do this throughout the whole show? I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Oh, no. Background. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do it while I'm talking. That'd be cool. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, it's not going to work. Don't do it. Why? Because <laughs> it's distracting. You challenge me? I'll, I'll take the challenge. No, I'm, I'm not going to challenge you Now you're going to back down? No. no uh no. So yeah, we're uh, huh. Shanghai Auto Show bans skimply clad female models. Oh yeah, I pulled did. Some, I just read that I, right. I pulled some <laughs> really cool stories that for you guys. Totally this week. caught my eye. So all of these are me. So check them out. Oh. I like that because every time you go to an auto show, you see the girls. Yes. And I <laughs> yes. mean, and like literally, like you see the girls. Like yes. And it just, you know, it's I'm, a guy's sport. I, I feel it makes me uncomfortable. Oh, to be honest. here we I go. I walk around and oh, it, just, it makes no. me uncomfortable. Oh, gosh. It's like I'm, I'm at okay, an auto stop. show. So not anyways, a I was just building a set of headers <laughs> on a 57 Pontiac outside. And, uh, you know, I really enjoy building headers, Mitchell. It's That's a totally lot of fun. You know I do. I like it. Eyes. It's, uh, <laughs> <when you can. laughs> Oh God! Okay. Oh, God. So, anyways, God, let's throw let's throw the the skimply model thing right out the back door. Woohoo! Gone. Uh, <laughs> so you like that then? What guy doesn't? 
Well, it's just in Shanghai. In Shanghai? No, it's no. everywhere. <laughs> no, but they're just banning it from there. So well, then I'm I'm the never going models, to Shanghai. They're doing dancers and singers and. No, I'm never going. To, what? So what are they wearing? Like jumpsuits and no, they're wearing overalls like dance and dance attire, like little dresses still. And, oh, but that's okay. But it's more business like instead of <sighs> like stripper like. Like, like. So yeah. pantsuits and. Uh, yeah. You know, like the little dresses with the. You know what I think when I hear business like I hear I think. I instantly think of a politician. <laughs> so we're going to have lying dancers out on the floor in front of cars. They're going to be know. lying about everything, be taking your money, I signing deals. Let's, let's have a meeting. I mean, it's, it's cars, it's business, <laughs> okay. and you, they're selling, you know, the cars. No way. Cars are supposed to be fun. They're selling them. And it, oh, okay. They're saying they're trying to crack down on prostitution, online pornography, and what it considers racy or inappropriate programming on TV. And that's well, the that president that sounds like Shanghai has yeah. a whole yeah. different that. problem. Yeah. <laughs> it's, well, it's, a auto show. Yeah. it's a little crazy out there. So to be cutting it down like that, I mean, okay. you have to be to a certain point to have to cut it okay. down. Guess know? I'd have to be there. Yep. Have you ever been? <laughs> no. No? No. And if they're getting rid of all that stuff, I'm not going. <laughs> 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 right, Mitchell? Wow. There's no way I'm going to my room and not having any of that stuff. I'm just kidding. T-M-I. <laughs> I'm just kidding. T-M-I. <laughs> For those of you that don't know what TMI means, it means too much information. Sorry. Okay, yes. This is a family show, and, and we're going to have Wade on here, and I don't want to be, you know. I don't <laughs> so anyways, let's talk about Furious 7. <laughs> I did watch the movie, but it is third weekend in a row at number one. Yeah. That's awesome. It's pretty crazy. Yeah sounds like uh i hear they just signed eight as well so it's like you wonder okay are they getting greedy now do they think it's really going to do as good as this one the only reason this one did as good as it is because of paul yeah i wasn't gonna ask you how do you feel about them making an eight Uh, whatever i don't really yeah i don't care i I haven't seen six so i don't know if i've seen four or five either (laughs) i think i've seen bits and pieces when you flip through like HBO or oh, something yeah. like that, and you'll see it. It runs it over and over. Yeah. And, and so you catch, like, one part of it. You yeah, know what I mean? I watched, like, one, five, and six over the weekend. You did? Yeah. <laughs> and so I you're going like, backwards. Oh, yeah. You should have started at six, then gone to five, and then to one. Oh, that would I, have I been watched totally them all. It was cool. just a little reminder of. Oh, okay. All right. How so you're cool obsessed. It is. Yes. Okay. All right. Cool. Can't wait to drift. All right. In my 94 Corolla. Let's set that thing up, man. Let's do it. Shoot, have Eric shoot some video. We got to take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Man, I got to calm down. It's getting a little crazy there at the break. <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> yeah, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome. You remember Welcome Back, Carter? Keep singing it. I, I couldn't. I'm terrible. I'm not going to sing. I- How's it going? I've been singing all Eric, day. Eric, you know. Come on. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome oh. back, Carter. You're too young, too. Huh? Oh, my God. I just dated Mitchell. <laughs> Don't look Anybody. at me. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody in the shop ever heard of Welcome Back, Carter? <laughs> They're all, huh? The hell's that? Welcome Back, Carter, man. It's a great show. John Travolta is one of his first. Are you the oldest guy in here? <laughs> Just wondering. Jorge's got you Just beat. Yeah, no, it. I'm not. No, Jorge's <laughs> got me beat. Yeah, he's the oldest guy here. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Jorge. <laughs> yes, I am the second oldest guy yeah. here. <laughs> and Jorge's your... Uh, Jorge does a lot of the metal work. Ah, okay. Yeah, he does really fine finishing work, so like on trim pieces. And he does uh, metal work as well. Nice. Uh, fab work. Uh, he's crazy methods, right? Mm-hmm. He's still oxyacetylene welds. He torch welds. Oh, nice. Yeah. He's really old school. That's cool. It's really cool. When we, I, when we first started here, I was like, okay, here's your welders and this and that. Okay, great. You got torches? <laughs> and there he goes. He just has a you know a rod and some flame, and he just goes to town, and he hammers and dollies, and it's amazing how straight he gets stuff. That is so cool. Mm-hmm. It is cool. I like old school stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, it's stuff I'd love to learn. I just don't have time. <laughs> stuff I know, and I just don't have time. That's what I started out as. Wire welding, 
coat yeah. hanger torch. Yeah. Then I moved to stick. And I kept doing the torch. It depended what I was doing. If I wanted to lay like a really nice bead. No splatter or anything. No knocking off your slag. You know what slag is? <laughs> like, <laughs> like swag? <laughs> it's kind of like swag. It's like knocking off your swag. Okay. <laughs> you see that look on her face? That's great. Oh, man. For those of you that weren't with us for the break, uh, we what go. we were talking about is I am going to have a model from now on on the show <laughs> since Nikki likes them so much. So oh, yeah. We're, is... we're looking for, what is it, car models? Yeah. I said, and uh, her name Nikki, has to be Nikki, meet Nikki. <laughs> yeah. So if your name's Nikki and you're a car model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to just stand here and, and stand next to this car right here? Find us on Or stand behind Nikki. <laughs> nope, nope. Stand behind Bodie. Oh. How great would it be? I'm going to have two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Both named Nikki. <laughs> Nikki, meet Nikki. Nikki, Nikki. Nikki, oh, Nikki. That, would confuse, that would get me so mad. I'd be so confused. And every time I would say your name, one of both of them would go, what? Yes. <laughs> All three of you would. No. No, that's not You'd happening. You'd probably start ignoring me. I would. Anyways, yes. Uh, so what else we got here? So fast, yeah, fast eight. Uh, oh, yeah. Um yeah, sports broadcaster Steve Bryans passed away yesterday. Yeah, that's I, pretty crazy. I didn't even know he was battling cancer. I, you know, I'd heard him over the years, and uh, you know, I, I'm not a diehard NASCAR guy, but you know, um, I've done my fair share of NASCAR races and this and that, and I knew who he was. And uh, you know, it's crazy because I had no idea he was battling cancer. A lot yeah, of people these had days a, a don't neck even. Cancer. Yeah, they don't even say anything, and then they're gone, and you found out they had cancer. Mm-hmm. He was diagnosed in August of 2013. God, that's too bad. Right. You know, I think it's a terrible way to, to end your days going through something like that. You know, he probably a hard worker his whole life, you know, and uh, <laughs> he's at a nice level plane, you know, with his career and, and money and everything's going good. And then all of a sudden you get that. Yep. Got to take care of yourself. I gotta keep. I don't even think it's that. And just you know, my dad was nothing you can do. With no, enjoy. yeah. If you met my dad, my dad was a fireman for 32 years. Health nut. We were the only kids on the block that didn't have Fruit Loops or Fruity Pebbles in our our cupboards. It was all bran and nuts, and you know, it was he was complete health freak. Wow. And he survived leukemia. Wow. But he got leukemia. That's what we were all amazed about. We were like, holy crap, how'd this guy get leukemia? You know, healthiest guy alive. But it did work for him. You're right. So stay healthy. Eat healthy. Speaking of that, I ate like crap this weekend. What did you eat? uh, Everything. (laughs) Everything. Every kind of dessert, alcohol. I'm so jealous. Then I did it again. (laughs) Like for three days. (laughs) Lucky. No, it was. It was good. It was a good way to unwind. So now I'm trying to get back into the flow of things. Everything's looking good. So look at that. we got to take another break. You're listening to CRN Digital Talk Radio. We will be right back. Welcome back. See you in the garage. Um, yeah, what do we got here? Oh, yeah. I think we got Wade on the line. Hey, Wade, you there? Hey, Bodie. Yes, I am. How you doing? Good. How are you, man? I am doing well. It's a beautiful, sunny day here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Chattanooga. Wonderful. I was telling everybody a while back here uh, when the show started about you and your world travels. I was uh, telling them that a, a friend uh, shot me a text from New Zealand and said, Hey, I just ran into Wade, and he said he was just at your shop. I was like, Wow, what a small world. <laughs> That is a small so, world, and I think it's getting smaller all the time. I I believe it. I totally believe it. So what's going on in Chattanooga? Tell us a little bit. I was telling everybody about uh, all your latest acquisitions, a little bit about them. I didn't tell them, you know, what you guys are up to, and there's so much. We only have a small amount of time, but, uh, you know, most of the hot rodders out there know Coker Tire, and, um, you know, but I don't think they know the, what's going on internally as far as some of the acquisitions you've made lately and as far as growing and, and your position in the company. 
Yeah, well, yeah, as, as you know, Coker Tire, uh, it, it's now Coker Group. And uh, through mm-hmm. some acquisitions, we purchased some wheel companies. Uh, we own Roadster Wire Wheel, uh, Specialty Wheel, as well as Wheel Vintiques. Uh, mm-hmm. We have Phoenix Race Tires uh, for both modern and vintage uh, drag race slicks. And then, uh, uh, of course, we have Honest Charlie Speed Shop, uh, which is uh, the oldest mail order speed shop in the United States. And then we have, uh, of course, the Great Race, which is a time endurance rally uh, that yeah. this year is traveling from Springfield, Missouri, to Santa Monica, California, uh, along Route 66. And that's a nine-day oh, wow. uh, speed and endurance rally, time speed and endurance rally. And uh, so that's going to be ex- 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 an exciting program. Uh, that actually sold out so quickly because uh, we limited to 100 participants, 100 racers, mm-hmm. uh, that this year we're doing a Great Race tour. Uh, that'll follow the great racers, but it'll be uh, it won't be a competition. We'll just be visiting sites along Route 66, and we uh, sold that out within a month as well. So we're really excited about that. Uh, is coming up in September. Uh, so that's I don't know, kind of the latest uh, at Coker. But uh, one of the cool things we just did is we had a cruise in here, and we had 2,500 cars cruise in from Atlanta, Nashville, Memphis, Knoxville, and I uh, had about. Uh, 15,000 spectators. It's something we do free uh, for our wow. community to, to promote uh, hot rodding and promote getting out and drive those cars. That is cool. I mean, I, I love the great race. Um, and I love how it changes all the time. So it's kind of exciting to see where they're headed. And, you know, and a lot of people don't understand it's not all about speed. It's about right. uh, somebody, somebody scouts it out, correct? And they lay down basically the time uh, and, and that you're supposed to do this in. So it's if you're planning on going out there and going 100 miles an hour thinking you're going to get there first, it's not that type of a race. <laughs> no, it's not. You you need to be our new rally master. Uh, I'd love it, man. I, I, that would be awesome. Yeah, I know a little bit about it. Uh, you know, I've spent uh, some time with the, the Haggerty family out there, and I know that they're they're kind of a big part of it every year. And, yes, uh, they are. So they schooled me on it, and it, it was very interesting. And plus, I had known about it just being a car guy. You know, I right. kind of known a little bit about the history of it. So, yeah, very cool, very cool deal. Um, so you had mentioned you uh, just purchased, uh, you just acquired uh, Will Vintique as well, correct? Mm-hmm. That's correct. Yeah. That's good information to know because, uh, and, and it's it's pretty cool now because it seems to me like you'll be able to make just this one stop you know what i mean because as a builder i'm always looking for a special wheel a one-off wheel something you know someone wants a, like a stock looking wheel or something so i was ha- always having to shop around for different back spacings different wheel sizes uh different style but it sounds now like people are going to be able to make it just like a one-stop deal yeah and, and the really exciting thing about wheel antiques is, is we're able to uh, acquire a number of different wheel companies um in from Portland, Oregon to La Mirada, California, and, and a spinning line up in Chicago, Illinois, and move them all into a state-of-the-art facility in Los Angeles. And uh, I, I know that you were out there recently and, and saw yeah. our, uh, you know, what our uh, assembly, not only our assembly line and, and all of our presses, the presser centers, and, and also our product code line. So besides mm-hmm. chrome plating, the steel never leaves our building uh, until it's a, an actual wheel. And and of course, with the combination of Coker Tire, we can offer you a mounted, balanced, nitrogen-filled combination right to your doorstep. So it does kind of make us that one-stop shop. That's awesome, and it's really cool that it's made right here as well in the United States. Um, yeah, every single one of our wheels are made right here in America, completely under that roof in City of Industry, California. Besides, as I said, the chrome plating. And actually, yeah. the majority, I'd say about 85% of our tires at Coker Tire are built right here in the United States as well. Wow, that that's really cool. And, I mean, it's an amazing uh, story. You know, I know uh, Corky's dad had started the business like around 58, yep. I believe it was. And, yep, that's exactly uh, when we started, 1958. Yeah, and then uh, Corky took over in the 70s. and. Yep. Um, and it's it's amazing what he's done in you know in, in making it grow and acquiring different brands and labels and tire sizes and molds. I know he traveled a lot to find uh, all this stuff and uh, actually different countries, isn't it? Isn't that correct that he had to yeah. go and find all this, right? 
Absolutely. You know, what, what Corky did, the vision of Corky's father, Harold, started uh, back in the uh, late 50s, early 60s, was merely to, to help him and his friends out that were collectors and that were passionate and try to keep these cars on the road. And, and Corky just took it to the next level. He had a great vision, and you know, he traveled all around the world uh, to, I mean, far out places like Uruguay and, and uh, you know, had some, a few bucks taped to his uh, to his ankles uh, to, to buy these molds <laughs> and bring them back here to the United States and, and start these tires in production. And, you know, some of the tires that uh, uh, we make are, are from original molds, and then uh, as the original molds are a little bit older, we'll actually use the uh, original drawings and build brand new molds. And then, of course, wow. um, uh, we benefit from the ability to use all brand new manufacturing techniques, all brand new, you know, formulas, rubber formulas and formulations, so we can produce that a very is... high quality tire uh, that has wow. the exact authentic look. That is very cool, Wade. Hey, we got to take a break right right now. So, but hold on, we'll be right back. Uh, you're listening to CRN Digital Talk Radio in the Garage. Welcome back to In the Garage. Uh, with us today is Wade Kawasaki, President and Chief Operating Officer at Coker Tire. Check them out at uh, Coker Tire. That's www.cokertire.com. Uh, pretty much all your tire needs. If you're you got an old classic and you're trying to make it uh, period correct and you're looking for the correct tire, check them out. Uh, they have just about everything, and I've seen it in person. I was Mitchell and I were just down there, and uh, it's it's pretty amazing because uh, I know you guys own like a total of like t- some crazy number, two hundred thousand square feet of. Uh, of uh, warehouse space uh, between Chattanooga and, and L.A., correct, Wade? About uh, 300,000 square feet here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and another 100,000 wow. uh, out there in Los Angeles. And then in addition oh, to that... Oh, jeez, oh. <laughs> but yet, in addition to that, we have our uh, corporate offices here in, in Chattanooga as well. Wow. I, well, I, I saw the office down here, and uh, I was blown away. So I, it sounds like I need to go see that one out there as well in Chattanooga. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's really uh, it's, it's a great diversity <laughs> of properties yeah. where, Chatt- where the city of industry is all brand new and modern, and this is all antique. Gotcha. All right. Do you ever plan on moving the whole operation out there uh, like most people are doing, moving out of California? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Actually, we're we're pretty proud that we're in California, and and for a couple of reasons. You know, California is kind of where the whole hot rod industry arguably started. Uh, It's definitely where the whole wheel industry is, and so all of our support services and the talented folks that build our wheels are out there, so it it really helps being in California. No, it does, and that's that's why I'm here, to to be honest with you. It's... uh, It it does make it a little challenging doing business here, but, uh, you know... um, uh, like I said, this is where my work is, and uh, maybe someday I'll be able to retire and move up north or something and, you know, just have a little shop in my backyard. But uh, for now, this is where it's at, and uh, it really helps being here. I agree. Plus the weather. What's what's the weather yeah. like there, did you say? Did you say it's sunny there right now? Yeah, you know what? It actually is sunny. It's sunny and cool here, and so uh, the weather's, weather's beautiful, and the uh, lake is up, and it's a, it's a gorgeous day. Well, that's very I want to cool. go there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cloudy outside and freezing. Today? Oh, my God. I'm cold. Yeah, it's freezing, uh, Wade. It's, I think it's about, what, 68 here? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It, it isn't 68 here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. That's funny. Um, so how did you get in the industry, Wade? Into you know, I, I started at a pretty like young age. My, my dad had a little gas station, corner gas station in downtown L.A., and since I was 10 years old, I got to pump gas at his gas station. And the cool thing about then, without dating myself too much, but uh, that was in uh, the 70s, was all the muscle cars. And so, and back then we used to check the oil. So, I mean, we checked oil and, and checked their tire pressure, so I got to see all the cool wheels and tire combinations. I got to open hoods and see, you know, Tri-Power 427s and, you know, Ford camera motors and, and you know, Buick wow. nail heads. And, gosh, I don't know how you cannot fall in love with the car after after that kind of inauguration. Nice. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> you just, <laughs> man, you lost me there. I was they actually daydreaming. I was picturing working at that gas station. And... Have, have you ever seen, like, it go up in flames? Because you know how you're not supposed to, like, 
have fire or anything like that at a gas station? Like what are the <laughs> what are the horror stories? She just saw about? Fast Seven. Okay, so <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> yeah, have you ever seen any gas stations blow up? Wait, <laughs> I have to ask. I just wonder. I, I, That's great. You know what? I, I've never seen any gas stations, but I'll, I'll tell you a hilarious story, and it's it's. You know, the, this is one of those. The truth is is more ridiculous than than uh, fiction. Is me and my buddy, and, and I'll call him out, Jim Cooper. So, Jim, if you're listening, you can bear me out on this. We, we just Shout thought out the to best. You, Jim. Yeah, we just uh, we just went and uh, uh, went to Orange County National Raceway, one of the old fox hunts they used to have on Saturday nights, and watch guy watch uh, top fuelers do fire burnouts. And we decided it'd be oh, a good wow. idea to try that at a gas station and. Uh, and my dad got pretty mad. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So there you go. You have done you fire go. at a gas station. <laughs> See, there was a fire at a gas station. My, I knew my dad it. There you I knew it. Go. She See? sensed it. She's got a good way of sensing yep. these things. <laughs> yep. Oh, man, that's great. Um yeah, and that's kind of me as as well, Wade. I didn't work at a gas station, but um, the, the cars were just a big part of my life. My grandpa was always a big Ford guy, and he always had some new Ford, you know, whether the Fairlane or a Mustang or something like that. And I always remember him working on him himself and, you know, all my dad's friends. And it's funny because I still do remember pulling up to a gas station, you know, where they would uh, check all that stuff, you know. Yeah. I wish. Right? It's it's a lot yep. different. Well, now there's just too many people in the world. That's all it is. They can't do that anymore. <laughs> now i got to do it myself. No, I think... And I don't even I know think, what I'm doing half the time. I think some <laughs> states still do it. I mm-hmm. think some states you're not allowed to get out of the vehicle. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I so, need to travel more. You do. You need to get out more. But anyways... Uh, it looks like we got to take another break, uh, Wade, but we'll be right back. And uh, again, check out Coker Tire Company. Uh, that's www.cokertire.com also check them out on facebook that's uh, facebook.com forward slash coker tire company that's ceo for company and uh twitter as well and instagram as well these guys are everywhere check them out uh, we'll be right back <laughs> oh, shoot that's great the brakes are crazier. Sometimes they should be filming and, and we should have the brakes online. We, we should do like a best of bloopers or something because I think the brakes are hilarious. But anyways, <laughs> they probably wouldn't let it on the air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, Wade, we are at the end of the show. We are running out of time, so this is going to go quick. But I want to thank you for joining us today. I know you're busy as heck. I know you are because I know you're all over the place. Right. And, where are you going next? Yeah, where are you going next? Uh, you know what? We have a we have uh, our, our tra- uh, tractor trailer rigs are right now at Carlisle at the Carlisle Show in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. So I'll be oh, cool. uh, booging up there for a day and seeing how they're doing out there. And uh, uh, you know it's show season, so we've got tractor trailer rigs uh, all over the United States. Wow, that's awesome! Check them out. Uh, I'm sure you got updates and places you're going to be in car shows uh, yep. on the website as well. So check we them do. out at w. There you go. www.cokertire.com. All right, Wade. Well, hey, thanks for joining us, and uh, I'll be talking to you real soon. Yep, sounds good. Thank you very much, Bodie, and uh, great show. Thank you, man. Thanks, we'll talk Wade. to you soon. Thanks, Wade. And Take don't care. be blowing up any more stuff, okay? No, 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 no fires. Don't do that. <laughs> do it, do <laughs> or actually, do it. Just take a video. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shoot. All right. <laughs> Bye, Wade. Bye, Wade. Take care. Bye-bye. Very cool. Yep. Uh, Wade Kawasaki, President and Chief Operating Officer at Coker Tires, who that was. A uh, good friend. And uh, like I said, love hearing where he's at. He's all over the place. This guy's everywhere. I you know, wish. I want his job, right? Yes. I'd like to do some traveling. I'm just too busy to do traveling. I'll travel for you. It'd be cool if I could take a car on a plane. A car on a plane. And I could be working. You'd like put it in the <laughs> exit aisle. You know what I'm saying? Just put my welder up there. And you just got to get one of those fancy cargo planes. Yeah, I'm sure that in the would Fast be and the Furious. Cool. Right? Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> I just gave him a scene for the next movie. We're in a cargo plane, and we're welding some stuff up, and sparks are flying, and I'm it putting arms on this thing, and it blows up. One car blows up. The other one falls out of the plane. It's got a parachute. Yeah. 
See? <laughs> oh, awesome. shoot. That's crazy. But anyways, I uh, want to thank Wade again for joining us. Wade Kawasaki, uh, Coker Tire. That's www.cokertire.com. Check them out on Facebook as well. Um, so let's talk. Yeah, let's talk about your uh, your tree hugging stuff. Today is Earth Day. <laughs> Happy Earth Day, guys. Happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day, Have you Mitchell? hugged a tree Happy today? Happy Earth Day. You don't have I to have hug a tree. a tree. Why not? But AAA is doing this really cool thing where they're exchanging batteries for trees in honor of Earth Day. Okay. They partnered Battery with Battery for a tree. How big is the tree? Do you got to have like a big old giant semi? Is this like a big tree, like a palm tree? No, you just, you give your, your battery away and then they give you like a tree, like in a little... Really? Yeah. And then you plant it and... I wonder what kind of tree it is. Does it say what kind of tree it is? It doesn't say. Well, what if you don't want the tree? I'm not going to waste my time to drive it all that way to take them a well, battery. Well, if you it's, give it's your a, battery, like a then terrible tree. you're still recycling. I'm and just kidding. Recycling is always good for the earth. I'm just kidding. I'm so just make kidding. sure you do something good for the earth today. That would be cool. I agree. I'm with you. Nice. High five. Yes. Finally, he Finally agrees with me. Agree on something. <laughs> all day we've been fighting about. She's feeling what? sinister, right? She's been saying it the whole time. Because I didn't have you coffee started today. It. Ah, I'm, I had coffee. My wife makes this coffee, and I'll tell you what, it's like flipping kerosene i don't know how she drinks that stuff man it didn't wake me up it like put me into a whole different dimension i see and i i think <laughs> i realized just right there saying that i know the problem now anyways <laughs> uh i want to thank everybody for joining us uh have a wonderful week as always check out steelrubber.com and magnaflow.com thank you guys and we're out of here See you next week, because you're always welcome in the garage with Bodie Stroud. Presented by Steel Rubber Products, www.steelrubber.com, on CRN Digital Talk Radio, www.crntalk.com.